Michael, take me back to when you first heard the Nolan pitch. Did you know it was going to be something special? Did it reignite the passion inside you coming out of seven years of post-Batman Robin? The first thing about Christopher Nolan is what a gentleman he is. And as you get to meet his wife and family, what a great family that is. Uh, his wife, Emma, is just one of the nicest and most talented people you'll ever want to meet. Um, the fact that Christopher Nolan shows up on the set in a tie-in jacket that brings classic, classic golden age Hollywood to a set that trickles down in terms of everyone's behavior uh, is, is pretty amazing. He is, to me, a gentle giant. He is, he is quiet, but he is, again, in 42 years in the business, one of three people I can say was a genius. And um, when, when you've got somebody like that, uh, to me, your job is to just be the biggest cheerleader in the world. He's got the keys to the franchise, and God bless uh, what at that time was the new management at Warner Brothers who were willing to allow an independent filmmaker who they believed in, uh, somebody who they felt, again, had the knowledge, the love, the passion, the vision, and the ability to execute a vision and allow him to do it. Um, the only thing I ever feared was that uh, sometimes if I have a, a, a nightmare would be Christopher Nolan's Batman uh, in a, sitting in the Justice League secret sanctum um, with Martian Manhunter on one side, Aquaman next to him talking to a fish, the Adam sitting in a floating easy chair over his shoulder. Um, that had to be a Gotham universe. That had to be a Batman universe. And, uh, and I love the fact that Chris kept it um, tight. And I think that uh, that served everybody's purposes really, really well. Gave you such insight into Bruce Wayne, um, the whys, the where to force. Because if you think about it, when Tim Burton finished his two films, he left loads of unanswered questions that Chris was able to answer. What happened to this kid after his parents were killed? Where did he get his training? Why does he refuse to carry a gun? What's that all about? Um, who's building these Batmobiles and things for him? All of these great questions that had never been answered, and Chris was able to answer them wonderfully.